So hello guys, welcome once again to a new video. Uh, today we are working uh, on this Nespresso uh, machine containing also a Nespresso Aerocino uh, milk frother. The problem uh, with this one is that it's uh, pouring water not uh, only on this nose where it should be but also uh, more of the water is coming inside in this uh, compartment here and uh, yeah we will address uh, address this uh, this issue in this video so right from the beginning from my experience i know that uh, this happening is due to two things either uh, this is really really dirty inside here the the part where the capsules is punched is really dirty and the water is actually coming outside on the other way or the brewing mechanism inside has a, a, a o-ring that it's uh, it it has aged a little bit and uh, it's not uh, not sealing very well so for this we have to disassemble this unit and then uh, address both of the of the problems and see if this will uh, will resolve so let's let's just see if we can manage to see exactly how it's doing so you see brewing on two streams one here and one here Okay, let's open it up and see if we can repair it. Okay, so for this, first of all, be sure to uh, disconnect the power line when you're working with, uh, with these types of units. Remove the Aerocino unit and all the accessories here. And first of all, we have to disassemble this part here. As you may see, we have uh, four screws that um, are oval in shape. Actually, four screws here and also one, two, three, another four, five here. So nine in total. We have to remove this part in order to remove the entire base and then we can access this uh, this side covers because the side covers are a little bit uh, inside the base so we cannot uh, remove them from only from here so for this I will use this tool that I made uh, it's a screw, normal screw that I have created an oval shape for this type of of screws. Yeah, it's not perfect, but gets the job done. And after all, I'm happy. Unfortunately, I did, did not find any other screwdriver that fits this type of screws. I don't know why uh, Krups and DeLonghi use this type of screws. Maybe to not uh, let anybody inside their units besides the, the shops that are there.
Ah, battle this way. stubborn ones. Always the last screw is the most stubborn one. Oh, come on. So we see already that it's coming apart. That's a good sign. And also, you see that screw that is coming out. Good, and now that the hardest part is already done, we can completely remove the base. And also we can see that the, the unit is coming out. So now we can remove it a little bit from the base. Like this, and then we can just just pry. You can use a pry tool like this to pry the side covers out. It has like this, so snaps out. So. I can explain, you can see here the, this uh, parts, these are inside the base, so without removing, removing it from the base, you cannot remove, remove this side the parts. Good. Also this other one. Good. And here we have access to the internals. Actually, we will need access to the brewing part, this part here. Here we have some clips, two on this side and two on the opposite side here. Gently 
we will pry this. This is some hard plastic, believe me. Let's try to put aside these screws. So we can already see that this front nozzle is coming out. Just insert some prying tools on the side and this will come out. Looks fairly clean. So this is a good sign for the moment. But actually here in this nozzle it's the the gunk and everything which is accumulating. Okay, so one side it is out. And the other side is out also. And you can see we can take it out like this, but we still have the connector here. Unfortunately, the connector is way back there on the main board inside, so maybe it's easier to disconnect it from the other side, but ah, there's no need. We can put it, let's say, like this. Good, and now we have access to the brewing mechanism, which is the problem here. For this, we need a T10 Torx bit. We have two um, screws here and another two on the other side. So let's remove them. Actually, it's smaller than T10. Or, no, I was right. T10 Torx. So yeah, you can you can buy the entire uh, the entire brewing mechanism if you want to, and uh, yeah, that's it. But uh, I will try to repair it for a cheap. So I'm an advocate of repairing stuff, not only changing parts. So let's inspect. So here, I think we can remove from here. Not. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it. Inside there, there is a retainer. If we remove that retainer with some pliers, then we can completely remove from here. I think it's better. Okay, let's use a different Sturdy method, like a flathead screwdriver, and it's out. Let's not lose the retainer. 
and we have out the brewing mechanism. Good. Let's put this aside and address the brewing mechanism, which I'm totally sure that this is the problem. So, as I said, there are two, two main problems. Either this part here, this has a lot of micro uh, pinch holes which with time from coffee they are getting clogged so we have to clean everything inside here and then with the with the needle actually I have a, a needle from a Dolce Gusto machine let me show you if I can access it So yeah, this needle, this is really, really thin. You have to, every hole here has to be cleared. And then the second part could be, as you can see here, this, uh, this mechanism can be opened up and inside here has to be a, an O-ring. This is also something that is leaking but as far as i see here there's no water in this area where it should leak if the o-ring it's it's damaged so i don't suspect that this o-ring is the problem actually as you can see here it's a lot of water so from here is the problem so let's see how much coffee is inside this uh, brewing mechanism i saw some videos on on youtube someone opening this type of unit and they completely change this brewing mechanism. Of course, it's only 50 bucks, but why do that when you can only uh, yeah, clean it and that should be it. So, whoa, just look at the gunk, which is here. If all this gunk is actually uh, inside of that tiny microscopic holes and clogging the, the unit. So, okay, I will go to the sink. Unfortunately, I cannot uh, film there, but I will go and uh, yeah, clean it up and uh, unclog the, the holes, the tiny microscopic holes with that needle and then come back to the, to the, to the unit. So yeah, I'm back. As you can see now, it looks really clean, but uh, there is still still a problem. As I said here, hopefully you can see it. Here, this is the the part that punctures the the capsule, and this has tiny micro holes that are clogged. And also between this plate and this nozzle here, there is a space where uh, this coffee is uh, it's clogging. So in order to do this, actually you can remove this plate for, for a better cleaning. And this can be done with a flat head, a tiny flat head screwdriver. It's really small. And yeah, you can insert it here in this place and just Click it up and you can see this plate can be removed now because it's very difficult in this space to yeah to clear these tiny holes. So let's remove it. Here it is. And now as I said I have this tiny microscopic needle from a Dolce Gusto machine and now you can insert it in each of these holes and you can see it's going in with a little bit of uh, of uh, force this meaning that these holes are clogged for example this one 
and I will do this for each of these holes and then insert the plate see here I will insert back this plate When you can insert it really easy, then you know that you have cleaned it really good. And I think we have addressed all of them. Good. Let's clean it a little bit. Add some alcohol. So here there is no no coffee, so I managed to clean it really good. And let's insert the part back. So we have it back here. Good. Let's connect everything back together and see if this resolves the problem. Okay, let's try to reassemble it just a little bit and see if, uh, if now this has resolved the problem. First of all, we have to connect again the brewing mechanism. Let's see where we have access to put the retainer. It should be here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing here also. This is a very narrow space. Okay. Good. This is secure. Let's put back the screws and then I think we can test it without fully assembling it. I think two screws should be enough. the nozzle okay. 
Yeah. I think I did a big boo-boo. This nozzle has to be put on the brewing mechanism before putting it on the frame. But yeah. Like this. And then here. We learn as we repair more and more the units like this. I also learn something new every day. Okay, good. We have this here and Let's connect it to the power. I think we need some water in the tank. Of course, everything has to be cleaned. Afterwards, I will clean everything a good wash and let's put it to the power okay we have power let's use this aerochino to collect the water Closing the lid. Let's clean it here to not have any any water, so we can tell exactly if we if there is any leakage. And power. Nice. So we have water here, but no water inside. So. This was addressed. Let me also show you. Okay, hopefully you can see something there. I think it's better this way, like this. And power. So water here, no water whatsoever here. So I think this clearly shows that you don't have to change the brewing mechanism if you see water coming out of here. You only have to clean the plate and that's it. So yeah, I will uh, reassemble the entire unit now, back together, enjoy the uh, reassembly uh, time-lapse. And if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up thumbs up if you uh, found something useful please consider subscribing thank you and see you in the next one